Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rathin Datta. Today we will be studying about the band breaks and in most importantly simple band breaks. So band break breaks consist of bales, ropes or steel, flexible steel wires uh, with a friction lining material that wraps around a rotating drum. What happens is that when the friction between the brake lining material and the external surface of the drum uh, the uh, produces the uh, friction force it induces a breaking torque on the rotating drum and hence we can see an application of brake using a drum and a band and drum arrangement right so in this case we will be studying the two cases that is the uh, uh, clockwise motion of the uh, drum and the anti-clockwise of the anti-clockwise motion of the drum and in each and each cases there will be a slack side and the, there will be a tight side on the other side of the drum that is the either side of the belt wrapped around the drum okay the tighter side will always be uh, represented with t1 that is the tension t1 and the slack side will always be represented with t2 that is tension in the uh, as t2 okay and we will, we will also see the moment equation in the clockwise case and moment equation in the anti-clockwise case and also the limiting ratio of tension that is t1 by t2 equal to e to the power mu theta where mu is the uh, is the coefficient of friction and th theta is the angle of breath let's see how we do it hello guys uh, this is the thing actually we are talking about is the first case of simple band band break that is using the clockwise arrangement of the drum and in the second case that is the uh, anti-clockwise arrangement of the drum in both of the cases t1 is the tension in the tight side and t2 is the tension in the slack side means the where the there is a less tension slack means there is a uh, smoothness or less tension right okay in the first as you can see this is the o point that is a fulcrum point as you can see in both of the cases so your uh, that is the radius of the drum is r but there is a thickness of the band if we consider the thickness of the band the radius will change into effective radius are you getting my points so the effective radius will be r plus t by 2 the half of the thickness of the band right so if we take a moment about o what will it be it will be simply p into l and t1 into b because b is the distance here and l is the distance from the force p so the force p will try to rotate the fulcrum point in the clockwise direction and this t1 will try to um, move the uh, fulcrum into anti-clockwise direction and hence pl p into l is equal to t1 into b okay and uh, since t2 is passing through the fulcrum so t2 will be the moment of t2 will be zero and in the second case if you see that is the uh, anti-clockwise moment of the drum uh, this the thing is same here that t1 is the tension uh, in the tight side and t2 is the tension in the slack side okay so if we take this uh, it will be it will become uh, p into l is equal to t2 into b are you getting my point the same that is summation of m at 0 equal to 0 m, uh, 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 summation of moment o at o is equal to 0 yeah so if we see your tb that is the breaking torque will be nothing but your t1 okay t1 minus t2 into re if we consider the thickness of the band it will be t1 minus t2 into re okay we have also discussed about the limiting ratio in the explanation limiting ratio of no, tension it is nothing but just t1 by t2 e to the power mu into theta where mu is the uh, coefficient of friction and th theta is the angle of wrap okay actually uh, your uh, um, theta if you can see angle of wrap here you can see this point it has has touched the band has touched and the other part of the band has left at this point suppose this is uh, x and this is x dash point okay so this entire thing will be your uh, angle of wrap as you can see okay sorry i have written it as two theta simply it should be simply theta yeah it will be in here it will be simply theta so this theta 
where the band has touched the drum and where it is has left this entire part will be the angle of wrap means it has wrapped in that portion means the band is in touch with the drum in this angle okay in this entire touch is called as the angle of wrap so in this case also this is this is the theta as you can see right so mm, your angle of uh, uh, wrap, using the angle of wrap you can actually uh, uh, determine the limiting ratio of tension that is t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu into theta okay where mu is the coefficient of friction and t1 t2 as you know and theta is the angle of wrap okay so this is the simple uh, derivation of the simple band break in the next video we will see see the or explain the differential band breaks okay and so, so far you have been subscribing in a very good uh, rate and liking sharing my content thank you so much for that keep coming keep subscribing and thank you once again bye bye